Hey everyone, okay, so today is a very exciting video for me and one I've wanted to be able to make for a very long time. So around about 2013 or 14 perhaps, it's a long time ago, I came up with the collection which was a set of makeup brushes that were designed specifically to, for my, for myself really, they were designed for me. And it was a pivotal moment for me as well in that it sort of catapulted me forward in my incredible love for makeup brushes and what they can do to your face if you allow them to. And my brushes at the time were incredibly um, unique in the fact that they were all handmade by Japanese artisans, the hair wasn't cut, it was just this beautiful collection. And in 2020, I decided it was time for an upgrade. And I wanted to create a new collection that had you in mind, not me. Specific brushes that were tailored to suit the needs that you have and dealing with the problems that you have with makeup, whether it's your own face or technique. I wanted to create something that could solve those problems. And I have. So let me introduce you to the edit, which is a collection of brushes. A collection of brushes that are very specific to your needs and your wants and that solve the problems that you have. Now, as with my brushes, they are handmade Japanese artisans. It is an incredible craft to be able to make these brushes. And these brushes don't have your standard furl either. So they give the this incredibly beautiful, pleasing look, which is really important also that the brush not only looks good, feels good, but performs excellently. These brushes are also whisper soft. They are the softest brushes, but they also contain this point, like this calligraphy point that allows you to get specific applications done really easily and beautifully. So let me introduce you to each brush and I'll explain what you can do with each of them. So first up, we've got brush number one. Now brush number one is your brush that you're gonna use for powdering, bronzing, blushing, any of those things. You can powder an entire face with this brush, beautifully soft, it's not gonna cause any issues on your face. You want a bronze, perfect to go all around those areas. You wanna contour the temples, perfect. You wanna apply blusher, you can go angular or you can go circular. You can even use the tip to apply highlighter. You can go across the jaw, down the neck, the collarbones, and because it's so soft, it's not gonna irritate or be problematic to your skin type. It is the all-rounder brush that you can do anything with powder or cream with. It works perfectly. Next up, we've got brush number two. Now think of brush number two as your workhorse. So you wanna apply a liquid, a cream, a mineral, a powder foundation, you do it with this. Buff it all over the skin and you'll get an airbrush finish. Now because this brush is so soft, it also isn't as heavily packed. So any people who have drier skin, you can use this and it will work beautifully. You wanna do the buffing technique where you push this into a bit of pressed powder and buff everywhere on the skin. You can do this with ease with this brush. You wanna buff out cream or a cream contour or, or a cream blusher, perfect for this. You can underpaint with this by applying those products first and then blending with foundation afterwards. It's also the perfect finishing brush. When your whole makeup is done, because of the softness of this brush, go around the face in circular motions and every edge will be taken care of. It is the worker horse brush. You can also use this for going right into the hairline with bronzers or contouring powders. Perfect again for the jawline. It's just your all rounder. Next up, we've got brush number three. Now brush number three is that kind of perfect brush for highlighter. Want to go really beautiful with your highlighter? Right here, you're going to get that perfect, perfect highlighter. Precision powder. You don't want to powder your whole face. So soft, you can just powder the T-zone or any areas of your face you want. Underneath the eye, yes please, because it's so soft. You can pick up the whisper amount of powder and just set underneath the eye and no one will know. Brush number four, beautiful. So precision highlighting, anywhere on the face you want a really precise highlight, this is the perfect brush to use because you get that that really precision point because of the way this brush works. You can also use this again to set concealer. So if you've just done a touch of concealer, you can just pat this into that area and it will set it perfectly. For smaller eyes, contouring again on that outside corner of the eye, making the cheekbone pop and hiding any of that kind of hooded area works absolutely beautifully. And this brush is also excellent for eyeshadow blending because some brushes are just too heavily packed that you're blending everything and therefore you're blending all the colors into each other. But with this, it's so soft 
that you're able to very lightly blend those edges without muddying the water so you can still see the colors as they transition into each other. Brush number five. This is the most incredible brush for your eye. So let's talk about hooded eyes first. So if you've got a hooded eye with some visible crease, take this brush, it is amazing. Take it and dip it into any medium color you want. Dip it all the way in so each of the, all of the brush is coated. Place it on your eye, into the crease, lock it in, open your eye and move it back and forward. Because of the size of this brush, it will hit all that excess skin and contour the eye from the outside corner all the way in. You instantly contour an eye with this brush. It has changed the way I would do eye makeup because of the way that you can hit every single part of your eye with this. It is incredible. Now, if you have very hooded eyes with very little visible um, crease, here's a really cool trick. Take that number five brush, dip it into your eyeshadow. So dip it into anything that is a medium shade. Make sure the brush is covered. All I want you to do is take a tissue and lay it on the outside corner of your eye. Now, instead of going in back and forward motions, take that brush and press it on the outside corner, just like this, a third of the way in. The brush is big enough that it will take all of that area really quickly. And by doing that, because if you don't have a visible crease, you're just gonna make the skin move. But by laying it down and pressing it, you are creating the most incredibly sculpted area of your eye. It's gonna really sculpt that outside corner and will instantly give you that lifted effect. It's such a great brush. You can dip this into a concealer and blend out all your concealer work underneath your eye. It is so soft, it works beautifully for that. You can also use this to create just a wash of color from lash line to brow bone with something nice and neutral, just all over to create a perfect base. Uh, base. It works great to blend out all forms of eye primer as well. And this is an excellent brush. If you have pigmentation on your skin and you need a bit more coverage, take this brush in your concealer or foundation and buff it into that area and you'll get the most seamless full coverage blend. Next up, we've got brush number six. This is a very delicate brush. So you can use this to wash any color onto the eyelid beautifully with this brush. If you want to do more delicate crease work, just into the crease. It is such a delicate, beautiful, beautiful brush. This brush also works incredibly well in contouring powder. By taking it, the size of this brush allows you to contour the sides of the nose without making it wide because some brushes are too wide for the nose. This brush is so delicate, you can go down the contour of the nose and make it look fantastic. You can take this brush with a highlighter and go down the nose for the precision amount of highlight. And if you love that kind of nose tip highlight, take a tiny bit on the point, a little bit of highlighter and very lightly just touch the tip of it and you will get the most beautiful nose highlight without it being overly an overly focus on that area. And next up, we have brush number seven. So this is one of those brushes that oh, it is so amazing for so many things. So let's talk first under eye bags. Because of the point of this brush, all you've got to do is tilt your chin down, find the bag, there it is. Take this brush in concealer, cream or liquid, and you can, with precision, go directly on the shadow that the bag creates and it's instantly gone. Any areas on the face that are shadowed, take this brush and go right into the shadow area and instantly it is smoothed. Now this brush works so well for a very, very, Oh, the most spectacular smoky eye you've ever seen. Now, with most smoky eyes, we're used to going into the crease of the eye and then darkening the outside corner, and there we go, it's a smoky eye. But I'm so over that. Take this brush and dip it into a dark eyeshadow, any eyeshadow you want that's darker than anything you've got on your lid. And all you've got to do is take this brush with your eye closed and place it into the lash line and vigorously move it back and forward. Because the brush is so gentle, it's not gonna disrupt your eyelashes. And as you're vigorously blending it, you're gonna get this amazing smoky effect on the, ups on the upper part of the lid. And when you open your eye, it will have transferred to the lower portion. You can then take brush number six and just very lightly go underneath the eye to softly blend it. It gives the most perfect smoky eye you've ever seen. It is so modern and so pretty and just, 
It looks incredible on all eye shapes. Now you can use this brush to cut a crease, really precise movements with this brush. It just works incredibly great. You can use it for all over eyeshadow work, in a highlight, brow bone. If you wanna contour your nose or highlight your nose with a cream, this is the brush to use. Because of the size of it, you're getting exactly where you need it. Wherever it is that needs highlighting or contouring with cream, this is the brush to use. You can also take this brush, dip it into your lipstick, and create the most beautiful lip because of the point of this brush. Then lay it on its side and fill in the lip really, really quickly. Take this brush with a bit of concealer. You can go right the way on the outside corner of the lips. Really, really get them nice and sculpted. Then dip it into a little powder and set it for that sandbag effect. And there you have it. That is the brand new Edit Collection. Brushes that are focused specifically on you and your needs. I hope you love them the way that I do. They are handmade. They are made by Japanese artisans. They don't have your standard furl. They are light in the hand and they work really, really hard. And they truly can change the way you do your makeup because they have changed the way I do makeup because I'm able to do things now really quickly with precision and with instant blending effect. Of all the brushes I've ever created, these are the ones I'm most proud of because they took the longest to make and they, gave, and they give the most perfect results each and every time. Whether you're talking about a hooded eye or under eye bags or precision concealing or blending, it's all there in these brushes specifically made for your needs. I hope you love them in the way that I do. I truly do. All the information is in the description bar. Thank you so much for your time and your support. And I will see you all very, very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.